Action number one, uh, stay connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at all the times to be content during good times, be thankful during bad times, stay patient as we saw in the story of uh, Musa alayhi salam, Fir'aun as well as uh, the Bani Israel and how they kept on going um, uh, back and how the Fir'aun and his people, they were tested, they were punished multiple times towards the end uh, and, and still uh, at, the, at the end when the punishments increased, they asked Musa alayhi salam to take them away and then they will follow his way and they will believe uh, and they will let Musa alayhi salam take uh, Bani Israel with him. However, when the punishments were removed from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they went back and they broke their promise. So the lesson for us in this entire story is that we have to always stay connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not like once we are doing really good in our lives and when we are getting uh, the, the, all the jobs and education and wealth and everything as we discussed, we feel, ah, it's all my accomplishment. I am the one and I am a self-made person and all of these terms that we use, um, uh, they are incorrect because everything good is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we have to be thankful for, it, for him and during bad times or tough times or hardships, we have to be patient. Uh, and then point number two, don't be heedless about the signs from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't guide arrogant and heedless people. And we saw an example, we discussed it in detail, that heedless means that basically, even when you warn someone and when you tell someone something, still they don't listen to you. And then they fall into that. So, and then they face the hardship or whatever happens to them. So we as Muslims, Today, we cannot be heedless. We have to uh, uh, look at the signs from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then seek guidance. Because sometimes people say, ah, if I wanted to be, as we discussed in the class, if I wanted to be guided, then if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted me to be guided, I would have been guided. It's not my fault. So, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is controlling everything. I cannot do anything. But that's wrong. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying those people are misguided who do not, uh, who have evil intentions in their heart and they are arrogant. So at the start, they are uh, they don't have the right intentions. Even when sometimes people start to study Islam or Quran or they're searching for a topic, they're trying to find a fault in it. That's the wrong mindset. The right mindset is that you try to open up your heart and mind and try to absorb what is being given to you. And even if you don't understand the logic for, of it or something, you do not just say, ah, see, which is why I don't follow and this is also wrong and this is also wrong and that is wrong. That is the wrong attitude. You have to understand that this is the truth. If you do not understand, that is your lack of understanding. And you need to probably spend more time on things and you need to spend more time on guidance. Don't be arrogant and don't be heedless. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't guide those people. Uh, Alhamdulillah, this is the end of today's lesson. 